So U.S. Commission also recommend uh, to designate India as a CPC country. And this is like a third year in a row. Yes. You guys are recommending, uh, but State Department not doing anything. They are not putting India into the CPC country. How concerned you are that your recommendation is not like by the State We're Department? We're very concerned, and we've made that known to the State Department uh, unequivocally, uh, that we believe that the Modi government has um, mistreated um, Muslims in that country um, significantly, the same with Christians uh, in India uh, and some other religious minorities there. So we're very concerned. Uh, we have made it clear that it seems as if uh, the Modi government wants to make India a sort of a sort of Hindu uh, nationalist state, um, and we've called that into question as a agency whose responsibility it is to look at these issues. And so we've been unequivocal in our advocacy and recommendations that India should be a country of particular concern. We've made that clear to the State Department. We were in a meeting with the Secretary of State um, maybe three, four weeks ago uh, where we talked about uh, CPC designations, country of particular concern designations, and India was on that list for us. So we've made it clear year after year that we believe uh, India should be a country of particular concern, and USERF will continue to do that. You met with Secretary Blinken and told me a couple of weeks ago. Yes, Secretary Blinken, you have yes, yes, Secretary Blinken, yes. and you talked about this uh, designation to India. So what, his, what are his thoughts? Well, first of all, I have deep respect for my colleagues at the State Department, deep respect for this Secretary of State. Clearly the U.S. government, State Department, have uh, geopolitical concerns uh, that relate to the region, if not the world, that influence their decision. We just happen to disagree with it, and we don't believe it would jeopardize those geopolitical priorities of the U.S. government to designate India a country of particular concern when it comes to freedom of religion or belief, and we'll continue to make that point. So I remember the Indian government also refused the visa of the member of U.S. Commission like a couple of years ago. They, didn't even they, continue, <laughs> they continue to. So yeah, can you tell us about, they're still not... Uh, giving you, providing you the visas? They still are providing us with the visas. Um, I, we can only assume that's because they disagree with our analysis of what's going on in the country, but we stand by what we've observed, uh, what we have researched, and what we know. And until there's substantial change uh, in what seems to be a real march toward uh, uh, very, uh, intense uh, Hindu nationalism in uh, India uh, will continue to have these take these positions that um, uh, India should be a country of particular concern. So, um, do you have something to say about recent uh, they just inaugurated a temple on the site of Barbary Mosque which was raised by the Hindu nationalists like uh, many many years ago. So do you have any is this a case of religious freedom too, that you just raised a mosque and then built a temple on that? Well, it's uh, clearly uh, USERF has commented on its real dismay in which the way in which the government of India did that, perhaps the reason for why they did it more than anything else. Um, so yes, it is, uh, it is a violation of religious freedom to destroy one religious uh, institution, uh, sacred structure, in order to uh, construct one that's more consistent with where the government wants to be. And, and so USERF made it real clear of its uh, dis strong disagreement with what the Modi government did, the way in which that was celebrated in the country uh, was a clear um, violation in our minds of what it means to have freedom of religion or belief. So absolutely, the, 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 the destruction of one religious and sacred site in order to build another that the government uh, happens to support and to agree with and then to promote it the way uh, the government promoted it uh, is inconsistent with the sort of international standards of freedom of religion or belief. So India also, uh, like Sikh community of India, they protested outside the Indian High Commission and they say that 
the Indian constitution put them in the constitution as a Hindus, but their religion is different. Do you know about that? I mean, do you have any concern about it? Because they are well, protesting well, for the last many, many years. Yeah, yeah. no, absolutely. So, um, a fundamental tenet of freedom of religion or belief is for any religious group to be able to define who they are as a religious group and not have the government do that and impose it on them. So in as much as that has happened, it's clearly a violation of um, uh, international freedom of religion or belief standards. Uh, and if indeed that's what the government is doing, it stands in contradiction uh, to what the Sikhs should be receiving in terms of their religious freedom in the in the nation of India. So last question.